And hello everyone, Mark Webster here, Inside Hill Talker Sports. We got Tyler Mansfield, John Reynolds. Man, we just witnessed a crazy game. You guys want to tell them just a little bit about what we just witnessed? Man, John Startler, 26-23, uh, Western final score tonight. They get beat tonight. Man, what a game. Uh, so Western starts off at 17 nothing, And you're down 23-7. It looks like Western's done. Two early turnovers played man, for a big difference tonight. But Western fought back, man. 16 straight points to have it the tie at 23-23. Man, we'll get into it here in a little bit. Man, that kicker tonight, he was not going to miss. We knew it all night long. Four for four. And, of course, he's the one to save the day and watch the game out of time. Looks like the man has steroids in the legs. If I'm not mistaken. John, what are your thoughts, man? My big takeaway for the WKU offense is Lucky Jackson. 16 catches, 168 yards tonight. Even Ty Story had a good connection. Gage had 100 yards on the ground again. But the defense, I think, just came up a little short tonight. Didn't get enough pressure out of that front four. Uh, front seven didn't have a great of game as they're usually having. But just come up a little short. Like, what are we talking about? Royal Wasser is just the, the key to the game Ooh. tonight for the Thunder yeah. and Herd. Wasser was good for that guy. But, yeah, a quick thoughts of mine. I believe WKU's defense started off kind of slow, but then eventually second half really, you know, they, they set in stone. I believe they won the second half. Right. You know, they won the second half, but they didn't win the game. Um, guys like Amari Alexander, um, Angelo Malone, he really had kind of like a, you know, yeah, Antoine Kincaid. Those guys really played together. And I believe this loss would, this loss will mold Western's defense, you know, as a whole. It's going to mold the whole team. Tough losses create, you know, great champions. So, always been a person of that. I believe that, you know, WKU moving forward, they're going to learn from this matchup. They will. I think so, too. And, of course, this is a big matchup for the East Division standings. Well, you know, Western's now was with, F with FAU and Marshall, those top three teams now kind of neck and neck. Yeah. And Western's not number one anymore because Marshall has a tiebreaker now. But it's still a long season. You know, FAU next week, and then you got Southern Miss coming up. A lot of big games left. And this game can't can't dismantle you too much. But it's, it's a tough loss to take. But Marshall's good. Of course, it's a road game. And no runner for to move on. But like I said, I mean, to fight back like that, that alone is good enough for a win. But like I said, kicker makes three in a row from 53 yards. I mean, they deserve to win that game, and obviously they did. Well, that, that I honestly thought, like, I was the only one to pick Marshall to win. It wasn't just, it was, you know, it was a strategic move given the fact that, you know, playing a hostile environment, homecoming, four straight winning, yeah. you know, every, everything's going in Western's way. Sometimes you have to hit the big road to end the, you know, to, to re-humble your side, you know. And that goes through every team, you know. Any, any final thoughts about this game, man? Yeah, like I said, uh, it was a tough, hard-fought game by both sides. Western comes up a little short at the end. I will say, though, Mark, you're and myself's first time at Marshall, first yeah. road trip. Tyler got to show us the ropes yeah. a little bit about Huntington. Had a great, great time. And if you'd have told us a year ago we'd be doing this, man, we wouldn't have believed Ooh. you. So it was man. a great time here in Huntington for sure. Man, thank you. Special shout-out to Sean Williams. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Man, great trip. And, man, Marshall's people, so friendly here. Yeah. I mean, we, we don't know the directions of anything, but. We had trouble finding yeah. parking in Alabama. But once we got there, everybody in the press box is so friendly. They said, but yeah. it's an awesome course getting up there. But once you get there, everything's smooth. That's what it was. Fun night. Great coverage. Hope you guys enjoyed it. There we go, man. See you.